Yo, what is going on? Varial Designs is here for a tutorial. That's it. I'm only here for a tutorial. Nothing else. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to motion track first person clips, for example, something like this. Ah, there you go. Okay, so this is, as you can see, this is probably familiar to you guys. It is the clip I used for that com preview. I'm not done with that. Oh, I don't think I'm, I'll ever be done with that because I slack like this. I am a big slacker. I don't. I do edits and then I just stop and then I do somebody else's edit and then it's like finish theirs and just like never finish the thing I'm working on because like I get stuck or something or like I need a cinematic and then I just I'm too lazy to make one and then yeah. So what you're gonna need is this plugin called camera tracker 1.0 so we're gonna put that on your clip there and uh... To, to trim this work area that i just did right now you just bring it to where you want it you hit the b key and then you go to the end where you want to end it and you hit the end key so that's basically the only section i want to render out of this clip not render what i'm talking about motion track so once you have uh, out of that effect or plugin, whatever you want to call it, you want to click on track features. Now we're going to track the features backwards and forwards, forward and backwards, left to right. Second, like I just forward and backward. Um, yeah, and uh, didn't take that long. By the way, I'm using my little brother's computer because this computer is uh, slightly better than mine's. Mine's is very really shitty. It has two gigs of RAM. Like some shitty ass processor or whatnot. And uh Motorola's computer has three gigs of RAM and dual core, which is slightly better than mine, you know, not 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 extremely better, but I can uh record tutorials a little bit more smoother than I can on my shitty PC because it lags and um I really don't know how I edit on it, but I somehow get the job done and make it look nice. So um yeah, I'm gonna pause this uh recording here till the motion tracking is done so I'll be back when it's done okay now it is done and um... what you're gonna do next you're gonna click on solve camera it solves really quickly it doesn't take that long and uh... yeah the, oh wow it's done alright so um... now you want to click on create scene create the scene give me a second here guys Okay, so um, now that you did that, you want to click on Create Scene, I believe. Sometimes I forget. Okay, so now you want to move where you want the text to like be centered or whatever. And you just choose a point. You click on one point, and you hold Control, and you left click, right click, my bad. Then Ground Plate, Set Origin. You set that origin up. And yep, that looks good there. And now you want to when I add a text, so you know right click new, then text. And uh you wanna I'm gonna just put the same thing I put before, plus forty ahead. I think I had it like like that or something. And uh hold up Manita. Fuck, I took it off. Alright, fuck it. Um, and then once you put it like that, right? You can you can move it around. Actually, you can make it look more real and uh, put it in 3D space. Oh, by the way, I clicked on this little cube here to enable the 3Dness of it, and uh, you can rotate it around, make it look like it's really in there. Rotate it up. that like that looks pretty good there and then it stays still oh look look at that and if you want to like um you can mask a little bit of that see how like the the arm gets in the way you can mask that out and the gun gets in the way again so you can mask that out again and and you could kind of like uh I don't know if it, like, if it stays there or whatever, you can just delete it. My bad, my bad, hold up. Alrighty, so, uh, yep. 
you um <clears throat> it's gonna it stay there whatever um yeah since I already rendered out like this selected this part out to motion track it's gonna stay there so you wanna just split it by control shift D or just go to edit and split layer and just It'll kind of look sketchy though when you like. Well, not really. It just kind of goes away. You zooming in or whatever. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, this is five minutes. All right. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's how you do that. Um, that's a little rough thing because it looks a little sketchy. I added a shadow to myself. I really added a shadow to it. Bring on the opacity a little more. But yeah, if you want to know how to add a shadow, it's pretty simple. I will repeat my process. I was just messing around with it when I, was, when I had it paused. Okay, so to add a shadow, all you got to do is this. You take your plus 40 ahead layer, right, and you duplicate it. And then you rotate it down on the x-axis. You rotate it, right? Put it, like, straight flat. You're going to take your selection tool. You're going to bring it down like that, right? You're going to move it. You're gonna match it up, make it look like it's real. You're gonna bring it forward a little bit in the Y, the right direction. Something like that. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click on the layer, your plus 40, and you're going to make it black by clicking this little black right here. And you're gonna add some Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur always makes everything, makes everything look cool. So you're gonna add some Gaussian blur, like, uh, I don't know, like, it's like six looks good, right? You gotta bring your T. You gonna bring your T. You gonna click T to bring your opacity out. You gonna bring this down like about mm, sixty looks pretty. Sixty, sixty-five around there. And you're going to yeah, you basically there you go. You have a shadow, and the motion track that stays there on the floor with it. Yeah, you, you gotta mask it out so it doesn't look so it looks more like realistic. I'm not gonna really go through that with that. Right now, if you want to know how to mask, it's just simple. You know, you just take the pen tool and you just mask around or whatever. Or just look at one of Rob Taser's tutorials. He do, he shows you guys how to mask. He shows people actually. Uh, that's about it, dogs. I will make more tutorials later on and some other time. I don't know. I'm almost out of school, by the way. Um, I'm gonna have this is my last week in school. I have finals, and yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.